Greetings to everyone. The World Language Department and Parsippany Hills High School hopes that you are doing well and staying safe at home. Each year, the World Language Department recognizes the achievements of our students towards the learning of a second language and culture. This year will not be different. We will continue our long-standing tradition to honor our students' dedication to connecting to others around the globe through the gift of language in this digital form. We will begin this special evening with some welcoming remarks from our principal, Dr. Matthew Thompson. Welcome to our seniors, their families, and our amazing world language teachers to the 2020 World Language Honor Society Award Ceremony. Our World Language Honor Society members have studied their respective languages to the highest level, and our students earning the seal of biliteracy have passed a rigorous four-part exam of speaking, reading, writing, and listening. Although we can't be there in person tonight to present you with those cords, you'll be receiving them on the 27th. My hope is, is that you wear them proudly, whether it be a virtual ceremony or an in-person ceremony down the road. I believe that Nelson Mandela said it best when stating the purpose of learning another language. When you speak to a man in a language he understands, it goes to his head. When you speak to a man in his language, it goes to his heart. Thank you. I would like to continue by presenting our achievement awards, and I will begin with the Seal of Biliteracy. The Seal of Biliteracy is a nationwide initiative to acknowledge and award hardworking bilingual and multilingual students. New Jersey became the 15th state to implement a legislated statewide seal of biliteracy. By achieving the seal of biliteracy, students demonstrate that they are able to speak, read, listen, and write in two or more languages at a high level of proficiency. 75 students at Parsippany Hills High School achieve such recognition and will receive this prestigious seal as part of their transcript. They will also receive a white cord to be worn at graduation to signify such achievement. The following are the students receiving the seal of biliteracy this year. with the World Language Honor Society's portion of this event. I am Dr. Jacqueline Bavacqua, the lead teacher of the World Language Department. Each of the Honor Society advisors, along with their officers, will recognize their graduating seniors. Before beginning, though, I would like to recognize one student in particular who has studied all three languages here at Parsippany Hills High School. Congratulations to Andrea Potesta Oliva, who is one of only a few students in the history of our school with the honor of having studied Spanish, French, and Italian. Congratulations. I would now like to pass the presentation to Miss Lady Torres and Sydney Dabari. I am Miss Lady Torres. And I am Sydney Dabari. We both have the privilege of being the advisors of La Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica Guernica chapter. In such capacity, we have witnessed a hardworking group of leaders who, through their successful events and programs, have served their immediate and extended community. They have been an inspiration to us, not only for their dedication to the Spanish language and culture, but also for their spirit of humanity and philanthropy, which embodies the society that they lead. 
We would like to recognize and introduce the officers of La Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica, Guernica, who will continue conducting this portion of the ceremony. Hola, I'm Valerie Burke, president of La Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica. Before we begin the recognition ceremony for our senior members, I'd like to take a moment to tell you all about what the society has done this year. We started off the year with the movie night, where we watched none other than Coco. But what made the night really special was that while we were raising funds for UNICEF, we also had students attend who didn't even take Spanish. We also had a successful second year of the Pulsera Project, which is personally my favorite event because every student who purchases a bracelet is always so happy to help. Another amazing event we organized was our Room for Halloween at the Hills. Our story tour of La Llorona was truly incredible, and it was all thanks to the hard work of our members, whether you donated materials, set up, or were an actor slash running the room. Of course, we had a few bumps along the way, but we also had great success, including our Valentine's Day sale. Although the year was cut short and we don't get to do things like make t-shirts or donate to Ava's Village, we had a great year and the board and I are so lucky to have been a part of it. Congratulations, everyone. I am Angelina LaCour, Vice President of the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica. I would like to recognize my classmates, the senior members of the Spanish Honor Society who will graduate this year. The seniors will be receiving gold and red cords with the colors of the Spanish flag. This honor cord is meant to symbolize hard work, dedication, scholarship, and love for their Spanish studies through all four years of high school. The following students are the Spanish Honor Society seniors honored here tonight. My name is Sheila Steinberg and I am the advisor for the Société Honoré de Français here at Persephone Hills High School. The students being recognized here this evening have not only excelled in their, in their learning of the French language but have embraced all aspects of the Francophone culture. As the pledge states, un homme qui sait deux langues en vaut deux. A person who knows two languages is worth two. I would now like to turn the ceremony over to our two officers. Hello, my name is Leah Zois and I'm co-president of French Honor Society. Although our year may have been cut short, we still have a great list of accomplishments to look back on as a club. First, we offered tutoring to all students taking French here at Part Hills. In addition, we introduced the French language to the elementary schools, including Littleton and Eastlake. There, students from FHS were able to visit, play some games, and show a little bit of the language and culture to the students there. Along with that, we also hosted a mixer for the French exchange program where students from France and their hosts were able to enjoy food and some music as well. Along with that, we also participated in Halloween at the Hills, where we had a French-themed room full of games and activities for kids from our community to enjoy. Lastly, we hosted and organized a um, cafe slash movie night, where we raised money for Médecins Sans Frontières, or Doctors Without Borders. Thanks for such a great year, guys. Hello, I'm Carolyn Moudin, co-president of the French Honor Society. I would like to recognize my classmates, the senior members of the French Honor Society, who will be graduating this year. The seniors will be receiving a blue, white, and red cord with the colors of the French flag. This honor cord is meant to be worn at graduation as a symbol of hard work, dedication, scholarship, and love for their studies of French throughout all four years in high school. The following students are the French Honor Society seniors honored here tonight.
Salve! I am so fortunate to be the advisor of La Società Honoraria Italica. This year, I have had the pleasure to work with such a wonderful group of students and student leaders who organize several successful events to serve their school and community. They have been dedicated to the promotion of the Italian language and culture, which truly embodies the principles of the Italian Honor Society. I would like to recognize and introduce the officers of La Società Honoraria Italica, who will continue conducting this portion of the ceremony. The president is Sera Ferrante, the vice president is Colin Smith, the secretary is Andrea Podesta Oliva, and the junior liaison is Arnold Nugent. Ciao, I'm Sarah Ferrante and I'm the president of the Italian Honor Society. Before we begin the recognition ceremony for our senior members, I'd like to tell you a little bit about what the Societa Orania Italica has done this year. We started off the year by participating in the Italian Cultural Festival, the annually town-sponsored event. We encouraged our members to explore the Italian language and culture at each meeting by creating PowerPoint presentations and interactive games. In efforts to raise funds for this honor society, we, we participated and ran two fundraisers this year. The first was our yearly t-shirt sale, and the second was a new addition as a Nutella Day fundraiser taking place on International Nutella Day on February 5th. We gave back to our community through themed food collections for the Interfaith Food Pantry, and I personally designed shoes to compete in the school-wide Stomp Out the Heart Disease fundraiser. Our year was truly fantastico, and now I would like to turn over the presentation to Colin Smith. Buongiorno. I'm Colin Smith, Vice President of the Italian Honor Society. I would like to recognize my fellow senior members of the Italian Honor Society who will graduate this year. The seniors will be receiving a green, white, and red cord with the colors of the Italian flag. This honor cord is meant to be worn at graduation as a symbol of hard work, dedication, scholarship, and love for their Italian studies through all four years in high school. The following students are the Italian Honor Society seniors for the year 2020.